Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about node classification and its uses in Pega. So let's get started into the topic. Generally, Pega platform is deployed on servers and those servers are called as nodes. So when there are more number of servers, like which means there are more number of nodes, then they are grouped together and they are labeled as clusters. So what is this node? What is the use of this? Suppose you are having an application where you are uh, having many uh, customers and uh, there are like many background processes that is also taking place at the same time and there are many events like uh, queue processing or some email triggering like that it is happening. So at a time uh, many transactions are being happened then if there is no balancing of those transactions then our server crashes. So to reduce these crashes and to increase the stability in the application, Pega has come up with a concept called as node classification. So that we could organize in a way like all the background processing we can give as a background node and all the stream processing like uh, YouTube, Facebook or something we can or the integrations that we have Kafka, those we can label it as stream nodes like that uh, we can divide those and uh, we can make our application stable in all the time even though many transactions are occurring at the same time so once you log into your pega dev studio uh, you just switch to admin studio and if you see here there is something called as resources and if you see here node classification Once you click this, you can see the processes that are there like agents, listeners, jobs, queue processor and all. But if you see for each particular agent or something, there is something called as associated node. You can see here right, background processing node this is. And this is given as a run on all the nodes. Okay, suppose if this is a listener. You say here associated node is running all the nodes. If this is Q processor, you can see there is associated node type as search, background processing, and this is job scheduler. Here you can see the jobs also as categorized as background processing and uh, search and ADM. Where actually this particular node classification is done. So once Pega is installed in your machine. Go to your personal edition, Tomcat bin, go to this folder and here you can see set env batch file. Try to open it in uh, notepad++. You can see here java underscore pts, this is node type. Node type we have classified as stream, background processing, web user and such. So in future if you want to introduce new node type to your particular environment, you have to go and uh, do this particular command in your server set env dot bat then you will be able to configure or relate it to a particular node this is step one in node classification suppose you have to classify your own node then the command that we pass this is nothing but jv argument this is like d applicable node types and we have to define the name of the node this could be any node but this should be relatable to the process that we are going to associate with it. Suppose you are having uh, a node already for search. Now you want to introduce a separate node for Bix generation. Then in the same command like hyphen D applicable node types, we have to pass comma Bix so that there would be a separate node type called as Bix in the background process and Suppose there is a job scheduler that takes care of all the BIX files, then that particular job scheduler you can categorize to this particular node. Now go to Dev Studio. You can see here agents, queue processor, and job scheduler. For example, if I open this queue processor these are all the existing queue processor 
here you can see right associated with node type these are all the node types that are present suppose in future you want to create a separate node type as kafka then you want to create some queue processor and uh, give that particular queue processing to this respective node then you have to select in your queue processor as kafka as the node in the same lines for job scheduler also here i have given as run on all nodes suppose if you want to specify any specific node you can give this and you can give this a particular time and you, if you go here go to settings you can select the particular node this is related to bix so i am giving as bix node submit and another way of doing is agents in agents also once you create an agent here you can see you can select the node type in this way you can configure and associate a node to the process by using this uh, jvm arguments and by using this particular uh, dev studio configuration by this way you can achieve stability in the application and you can know the value of load balancing in your application when there are many transactions happening and if there are many background processes that are already scheduled hope you have learned a new topic called as node classification you please try yourself and uh, please put your comments on this video thanks for watching happy learning thanks for watching this video Please share, like and comment your feedback and stay tuned to this channel.